Welcome to the first edition of Pimp My Trailer. Hi guys, this is Wes Lane with Father and Son Products. As you can tell, our trailer is really unorganized. And just like Bigfoot decoys, you only fit about three on each arm. And then you're out there looking like the Sasquatch trying to walk around setting decoys. Well, today with the totem rod, we're gonna redesign our trailer and pimp it out to fit your guys' needs in the field. So this is how we install the totem rod brackets. Uh, these are spaced out for our Bigfoot decoys. Our first one's at 32 inches, the next one's at 50, and the last one's at the top. You're gonna to get 18 decoys per row. Now since your duck decoys are a little bit smaller than geese, we're able to stack four totem rod brackets on top of each other to utilize more space in the trailer. Here's how you guys install the tail loops, whether it's Bigfoot's, Avian X's, Hardcore's. Uh, what you need is a pair of pliers, a 3 16 drill bit, and whether you buy our tail loops or your tail loops, you wanna start by drilling a 3 16 hole about three quarters inch in from the tail. And then once you feed that through, feed it through the crimp, make sure it's a complete circle, and then crimp it together nice and tight, and then move on to the next one. While sitting around the campfire, you might as well bring all your hunting buddies over so they can share in the enjoyment of putting all the tail loops on. Hey guys, Wesleyan with FNS Products. I just wanted to show you how we utilize all of our space using the totem rod and the bracket system. Right here we have seven dozen Canada decoys, and then on our back side of our trailer, we have four dozen duck decoys just sitting here ready to roll. So every time you grab a stack of ducks, that's a dozen decoys. Every time you grab a totem rod, that holds six Bigfoot decoys. When normally one guy can only carry six, a guy can carry a dozen now. Here's how FNS utilizes the totem rod system. We we're able to use all of our airspace on both walls. That way we leave a nice hallway for ourselves to grab the blinds, set them, build the spread around the blinds, and then walk to the back of the trailer to grab our shells, our guns, and any other items that we need to have a very successful hunt. 